Hola amigos, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Easter here, it's Good Friday, and the rest of the family have all gone out for the afternoon. So it is just me and the dogs who you might hear snoring in the background. They've had a good long walk and then had grandma come to visit, so they are exhausted. Um, please ignore them if you can. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to do was get a few YouTube videos sorted out while I had some quiet in the house and I thought I might just address the issue of why I am not a full-time writer and why I in fact have never been a full-time writer even though I have had books published now for about 11 years something like that 10 11 years I think it is so I first began writing properly when my eldest, who is somehow now 18, was a baby. And I started by writing some picture books with him in mind. Um, I think they were quite good for first attempts. I sent them off to a number of publishers, but I don't think I really sent them to the right places. There aren't that many publishers still who um, will take on unsolicited manuscripts. So there wasn't a great deal of choice and no one was interested. And that was back in the day when you actually had to print out your manuscript and you had to put it in the A4 envelope and send it off. Much more exciting than just attaching a file to an email, I think. And yeah, so I didn't really get anywhere with that. But then when my youngest was a baby, so this is about 12 years ago, I wrote my first romance, The Green Hills of Home, which I decided to self-publish, but it was then taken on by a publisher who published that and my next two books. When I left that publisher, I got the rights to those books back and I self-published them uh, along with another book, Starstruck. And then I went to my new publisher who were called Spellbound Books and who were lovely. And my new book, Her Sister's Baby, is published with them. So that's quite a lot of books. Oh, and I always forget to mention that I also have two novellas called Just Desserts and Snowed In for Her Wedding, which are available from Amazon as well. And a picture book, The Snotty Princess, which is written under my real name, Laura Williams. So yeah, that's quite a lot. Um, but at no point have I written full time. And by full time, I mean, you know, five days a week, eight hours a day. Um, I've just never been able to... I have four children, um, we home educate, so not only do I have a household to run and a family to look after, but I'm also teaching my children. Can you hear my love with all snoring? Just a minute. Go on. You're so cute. That's Paris, that's a slightly bigger one. I'll have to do a video introducing you to Hector and Paris because they are very, very sweet. Please try to ignore him if you can. Um, where was I? Where was I? My eldest two sons are currently doing scary things like A-levels and GCSEs, so um, that's taking up a lot of our time as well, just with the logistics of getting the exams booked in, making sure that they have all of the exam materials that they need to practice with and things like that. So I definitely don't have time at the moment, and I never have. Um, I typically will work for between two and four hours a day. But not all of that is writing even. Maybe one to two hours of it is writing. The other one to two hours will be updating my social media, writing blog posts, um, doing YouTube videos. I've also just joined TikTok and have been trying to put some stuff on there. If you do have any advice about TikTok, please stick a comment down below because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm too old. I am too old for TikTok. It's official. I don't want to give up, but I don't understand it. It keeps showing me weird things. I can't work out how I can see the non-weird things that people talk about and the reason it's supposed to be good. You know, I might quite like some of the cooking. You know, I'm into my crafts. Something like that could be good. I just see the weird stuff. Anyway, so that's what I'm spending the other time on. I typically write between about 500 and 1,000 words a day, which for me is fine. It moves the story along well, but not so quickly that I'm just writing rubbish and I'm not really sure where I'm going with the story. I know uh, Stephen King is generally considered to be very prolific and apparently he writes about 2,000 words a day. I'm not sure I could manage that day after day. 
I definitely couldn't manage more than that. I mean, I know that especially do, during um, NaNoWriMo, there are authors that are writing kind of, you know, 5,000 words a day. Sometimes people do 10,000 word days. I definitely couldn't do that. I just get too tired. Yeah, it wouldn't happen for me. About 500 to 1,000, as I say, is good for me. I'm happy with that and move stuff forward. If I am editing, you know, if I have edits back from my editor that need to be got back by a certain time, or even if there's not too much of a rush, I will probably kind of push forward with that and do what I term full days working on that because you do need to really immerse yourself in them so that you can follow the story um, more than anything. You're not just, you know, you're checking for everything, not just the little tiny things. So it's important that you're moving through it quite quickly so that you don't lose track of the story. So that's the only time when I would kind of do full-time hours, but that would just be for a matter of a few days. Maybe when I'm a proper grown-up, you know, I'll work for longer. I don't know, though. I can be kind of lazy, you know. And also, in all fairness, writing is really tiring, as any writer will tell you. After I've done about a thousand words, I'm done. I am absolutely done for the day, and I'm not sure I'd quite know what to write after that. I do like to do quite a bit of planning before a writing session so that I know what I'm going to do. I find that really helps and makes the actual writing session itself go better and go faster as well. It's kind of a time saver. So how long do you guys all write for? Do any of you actually spend a full-time job amount of time as a writer, be it on writing or other writing-related um, things or are you all fitting it in um, around other things I'm very lucky I don't have another job so my in my spare time if you like I am able to devote as much of it as I like to writing which you know is a privilege and I am very very grateful to that so thank you very much for watching my video um, I hope to get some more out again soon so you know if you like to if you could subscribe that would be brilliant and Boop that little like button so that the algorithm knows how awesome my channel is. And I shall see you guys in the next one.